D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this uh, video. And you can, you know, read it for yourself and check it out. Or you can just watch this video where I'm going to basically read it to you. Also, I just want to say that before I get started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine. We just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started? All right, you guys. Now, I don't know if this is cleaning house or if these two just left on their own, but Damon, Lind Damon Lindelof and Justin Brig Gibson have left uh, st uh, Secret Wars uh, uh, and, uh, oh gosh, have left Star Wars, uh, their, their secret movie. Now... Um, if you remember, David Lindelof was hired to do write a Star Wars movie, and I and a lot of people were happy about this because a lot of people like David Lindelof. This is the thing, he did that show uh, Leftovers, and I love that show. Oh, that show was so good. But then he did uh, Watchmen. Now I love Watchmen, the comic book. That comic book, it's my favorite comic book ever. It's my favorite. I love it. I read it once a year, every year. I read it. It's so good. It's so well written. And really, I think Alan Moore really captured like what the deconstruction of a superhero really is. You know, unlike now where they're just they just tear them down to be dicks. You know, I think that he really understood what it was to deconstruct a superhero. And I think David Lindelof, uh, Damon Lindelof coming in and writing that Watchmen show was just you know, activism nonsense. It was just nonsense. It, this, like, a small piece of me was just like, did you even read the comic book and understand what, like, it was about? Um, because his, th that was not about deconstructing a superhero. That was just about, you know, shoving activism in your face. All right, so let's read this. Um, there the two men are. Um, you know, see, uh, uh, so it says Lucasfilm top secret Star Wars movie uh, to be directed by Sherman Ab Abdeen Choi, a uh, Chinoy, hmm, has lost its screenwriters, David Lindelof and Justin Britt Gibson. Deadline can confirm. Oh, this is from Deadline, by the way, you guys, my favorite. So, <clears throat> so it says details as to the film's plot are still under wraps. Uh, maybe the plot is about two writers that get fired from their job. Maybe. Um, though we understand that, uh, uh, oh gosh, Abbe, Abde, uh, Abde Chinoy <laughs> remains at the helm with further details on the project to be unveiled at next month's Star Wars celebration in London. Sources suggest that the film is still in a, in a solid position to be one of the first out of the gate for the franchise if not the first, on the heels of 2019 Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. Terrible. Disney has, in uh, the interim, uh, prioritized building out the Star Wars universe on the TV side with the hit shows like The Mandalorian, which is not doing well season three. And as terms of writing for season three has not been good. I mean, it's it's been okay, but just really just not... Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. I, I, this might be the end of The Mandalorian. I don't know. I don't know if they had more plans after season three. Anyways, okay. While the specific reasoning behind the departure of Lindelof and Britt Gibson's uh, hasn't been uh, disclosed, the former hinted at the possibility in an interview with Slash Film earlier this month. I will just say that for reasons that I can't get into on this Sunday morning, on this day, the degree of difficulty is extremely, extremely, extremely high. If the film can't be great, it shouldn't exist. I agree, shared Lindelof. That's all I'll say because I have the same um, association with Star Wars as you do, which is it's the first movie I saw sitting in my dad's lap for years, uh, four years old, May of 77. I think it's possible that sometimes when you hold something in such high reverence and esteem, you start to get in the kitchen and you just go, maybe I shouldn't be cooking. Maybe I should just be eating. We'll just leave it at that, at that point. Uh, news of the Star Wars scribes departure was first reported by, uh, by above the line. So here's the thing. 
Um, I I personally think this is also just trimming the fat in terms of of over there at Disney. Um, I think that Damon uh, Damon Lindelof wanted to add some activism like he did with Watchmen into this sh- uh, movie. And I think maybe Bob Iger has has realized that Disney is a company that makes money and Star Wars is a company that needs to make money. And the TV shows and 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 Bob Iger, Iger said this uh, last investor call that streaming has not turned out to be as profitable as they thought. And the problem is, is because they're not making quality. They were just making quantity. And that's why he said they're going to focus on quality, not quantity and all this stuff, which is good. That's all good talk, but I need to see it in action. But one thing I think that uh, he also thought saw was that Watchmen was very, very preachy and very identity politics and all this nonsense. It was very woke. Um, and I think that when it comes to to woke, I think that I think that Hollywood needs to start stepping back from that nonsense because, you know, uh, it's just not going to work for them. And real quick, because I know a lot of people are like, well, define woke, define woke for me. And I define it like this. And this is not my originality. I just adopted it because I think it fits perfectly. Woke is a state of awareness only achieved by those dumb enough to find injustice in everything except their own behavior, Um, which I think was perfect for Watchmen. Uh, so do I think that uh, do I don't feel bad that they left because uh, I'm pretty sure that this would have been a bad movie. I mean, Star Wars is in shambles, in my opinion. Um, I've been a Star Wars fan all my life. Uh, you know, I didn't see the original films because I uh, because I was not born. Uh, but I did I did see all of the rest of them after that when this, the, the Star Wars, the, the special edition came out. I saw those back to back in the movie theaters. When, you know, episode one through three came out, I was there opening night at midnight um, in full costume. Um, And, uh, you know, when uh, and then all the all the these three new movies, uh, I saw those same thing with like Rogue One and and all that stuff. And I think that I think that that you can have a hit. But I just think now with with the, the activism going on in Hollywood and writing stuff, I think that it's just it's just too toxic. And and people like myself are not interested in that because they're always like, eat my politics, eat my politics. And you're like, I'm not hungry. I'm on a diet. And they're like, no, you're starving for my politics. And I'm like, no. So I think that, um, yeah, that's those are my thoughts. I've, I've rambled on too much about this. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? Guys, tell me, how do you feel about Damon Lindelof and Justin Britt Gibson leaving this secret Star Wars movie? Um, I heard rumors online. I've seen rumors, and I'll go over that right now real quick with you. But I heard rumors that it was, they were going to take five characters and put them in a project. And I think it was this movie, okay? And then they did some kind of poll, maybe, or something or other where they they were they asked people so they did all that and it wasn't like an official poll i wish they would have done it where they actually like but maybe they did i don't know i'm pretty sure they didn't so what they did was they they figured out they they asked people or whatnot what were what are your favorite star wars characters and then they were going to put those in one project together so who did they pick right so they picked Ray, first off, horrible decision. You've lost me already. Okay. So they're going to have Ray choose. By the way, if you don't want to know all this, skip this part because it's kind of a, a, a spoiler. But uh, if it is right, I don't know if it's right. You know these these rumors. Uh, so it's Ray, Chewbacca, um, R2D2, Grogu, Baby Yoda. And then a secret character, like a a new character that they're making up, which I just go, that right there is already, like, I can tell this is nonsense. And they're going to put those five people in a movie together, like traveling the galaxy or whatever, you know, stopping injustice and stuff. And I just go, okay, I mean, I'm not interested in that. Um, Don't get me wrong. I love Chewbacca and R2-D2, but they're not my favorite. I mean, Chewbacca is pretty cool. But R2-D2, not my favorite character. I wouldn't even put him in my top 10 of favorite characters. Um, and I mean, Ray, absolutely not. She wouldn't even be in my top 100 favorite characters in Star Wars. Um, and I just go, and Gro- I mean, Grogu, Grogu's cute and everything. But I mean, like, the you know, he's like, you know, there's no, there's, there's no personality there in terms of like, I don't know who like Grogu is. Who is Grogu? Um, but, uh, and so... 
So I'm pretty sure that they they just they just wanted to add all their activism. And uh, Bob Iger was like, yeah, I don't want any of this nonsense. You write a movie. If you can't write it, then, you know, get I get, get the hell out of here for kind of thing. All right, you guys. So that is my that's all my thoughts on all this nonsense this week. Tell me, what do you guys think about all this? Uh, you can tell me by going ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.